So welcome everyone to our lunchtime yoga class. And we'll be doing our sun salutation to warm up our bodies, more movement throughout our class today, just to get everything moving, relieve that stiffness like we did last week. Come to the top of our mat, ankles, knees, hips in line with each other, tailbone down. Arms by your side, standing up tall. Okay, letting yourself feel your foundation through your feet, settling into the earth. Engaging your quadriceps, so the tops of the thighs, contracting those muscles. Roll your shoulders back. One more time. Arms by the side. Always thinking about your foundation as we move through all the different poses. With a nice big inhale breath through the nose and then out through the nose. First, taking a nice big inhale breath, draw your arms up overhead. Exhale, dive forward, head hangs. Inhale, come up to halfway, flat back. Exhale, take your hands down to the ground, step back to the right foot. Left foot, strong plank here. Draw the navel in, take the knees down to the ground, and then come back up into the plank. Take your knees down to the ground gently, come back up to the plank. One more time, take the knees down to the ground, come up to the plank. Jut the body forward, come down to your knees, lower yourself into the ground. Uncurl the toes, pushing through the tops of your feet, pubic bone, draw the navel in. Inhale to up dog. Exhale, release. release. Let's do that two more times. Same thing. Push down through the tops of your feet. Inhale, up dog, draw the navel in. And then exhale, release one more time. Shoulders away from the ears. Inhale up. Exhale, downward facing dog. So toes back, push nice and strong, elbows right by the waist, and then come up to downward facing dog, alternate knee bends. Ankles, knees, hips in line with each other. About two fists distance between your feet. Head hangs. Bend through the knees, look to the hands, Walk the feet forward to the front. Ankles, knees, hips in line with each other. Inhale, come up to halfway lift. Exhale, release, fold, let the head hang. Inhale, sweep your arms up overhead. Feel your foundation and then draw the arms up overhead. And then heart, hands to your heart center. Stand up tall. Inhale, sweep your arms up overhead. Exhale, dive forward, hinge to the hips. Bend through the knees to help keep the back flat. Inhale, come up to halfway lift, and the back is flat here too, so bend the knees enough. Exhale, take your hands to the floor, step back with the right foot, left foot. Jutting the body forward, take the knees down to the ground. Lower yourself into the ground, elbows hug the waist. Inhale to up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Alternate knee bends. Let the head hang. And then hold stillness. Draw the heels a little bit closer to the ground. Bend to the knees, look to the hands, walk your feet forward. Our last sun salutation will be coming up. So here, inhale, come up to halfway lift first, flat back. Exhale, release, fold. Inhale, sweep your arms up overhead. Exhale, hands to your heart center, right into the last sun salutation. Inhale, sweep your arms up overhead. Exhale, dive forward, flat back. Bend the knees enough to help keep the back flat. Inhale, come up to halfway lift. Arms may come to the side. And then exhale, chaturanga, so step back into the plank. 
jut the body forward and lower yourself into the ground. Inhale to up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Bend to the knees. Look to the hands. Walk your feet forward. Ankles, knees, hips, and line. Inhale, come up to halfway lift. It's flat back. Exhale, release, full. Feel your foundation and inhale, stick your arms up over. Exhale, hands to the heart center. Okay, place your hands onto the hips. Bend to the knees and step the right foot straight back. Take your heel down to the ground and then open up your body towards the front. Check your alignment, back heel in line with the front heel. Inhale, sweep your arms up to shoulder height, relax through the shoulders. Look over your middle finger, left knee pointing straight ahead. Notice if your knee is turning in, bringing the hips open, knee facing forward. Inhale, sweep your right arm up and over. Take your hands on either side of the foot and come onto the ball of the right foot. Hold here. Fingers may be tempted or take your hands down towards the ground for a lower lunge. Add the twist. Right hand stays down. Left hand comes onto your hip. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, twisting to the left side. Release your hand away from the hip. Shooting your thing, shooting the energy out through your fingers. Notice if you're overextending into the shoulder here, taking it out of your the socket. So just draw back, take it in. And then slowly release, take your hand down to the ground. Bend for that back knee and step right to meet the left. Inhale, come up to halfway lift. Exhale, release, fold. Inhale, sweep your arms up overhead, just like we did before. Exhale, hands to the heart center. Good. Okay, hands back onto the hips. Bend for the knees. This time we step the left foot right back and then draw your heel down. Line your heels up. I'm just going to come to the other side just so you see what it's going to look like when we do it. Okay, lining your heels up. Inhale, sweep your arms up to shoulder height. Look over your middle finger. Right knee pointing straight ahead. Upper body over top of your pelvis. Inhale, sweep your left arm up and over, and then take your hands down on either side of the foot. Come onto the ball of the left foot. Your fingers are tented, and then you can take the hands down to the ground, lower lunge. Place your right hand onto the right hip. Add the twist, twisting your body over to the right side, release your hand from the hip, looking straight ahead or turn the head to look at your thumb, your drishti. Keep breathing. Coming out of the twist, take your hand down to the ground, bend through that back knee and then step left to meet the right. Inhale, come up to halfway lift, bend through the knees enough to help keep the back flat. Exhale, release, fold, head hangs. Feel your foundation and inhale, sweep your arms up overhead. Hands to the heart center. Good. Okay. I'll just come to the other side again. 
bringing both of your big toes together. Work through our balance here. Take your arms down to the side and then turn the palms open towards the front into Vasana. Stand up tall. Tailbone is drawn down. Open up through your eyes. Take your hands onto your hips, bend through the knees, and step or jump out ankles, knees, hips in line with each other. Bend through both of those knees. Step your right foot straight back again, like we did earlier, and then draw the heel down towards the ground. The distance between your feet is your one leg distance. So one leg. Straighten out that front leg for Trikonasana. The knee, of course, can be bent here still. It does not have to be straight. Inhale, super arms up to shoulder height, and then reach forward, and then rotate your body towards the front, and then come down towards the ground. You may hold on to the ankle. You may have a block here for support for the hand. The, your drishti, your gaze, you're looking at your right thumb. Slowly coming out. Taking your right hand down towards the ground now. Take your left hand, hand onto the other side of your left foot. Hey, revolve trikonasana. So we're going to revolve triangle posture. Release your shoulders here. Take the left hand onto the left hip. Left knee may be bent. Add the rotation, the twist. Inhale, lengthen through your spine. Exhale, twist to the left. The same idea like we did before, release your left hand from the left hip. Shooting your energy out through your fingers. You may look straight ahead or turn your head towards your thumb. So they come out of the twist. Release, take your left hand on the two. Left side of the foot. And slowly coming out. So inhale, windmill your right arm up, back to standing. Bend through the right knee and step right to meet the left. Whew, that was a big one. Okay, moving and opening up. I'll just come to the other side of my mat too so you can see this way. This time to the left side. So nice big opening again. Bend through the knees into our big opening with a step back with the left foot and then rotate. Heels lined up for the front heel with the back arch. Straighten the right leg. Knee may be bent. Inhale, sweep your arms up to shoulder height and then reach forward. Rotate, coming down towards the ground with the exhale breath. Your drishti again, so your gaze may be forward or rotate through the neck and look at your left thumb. Here, coming out of the twist, you're going to take your left hand down towards the ground. Take your hands on either side of the right foot, hold. Add the twist the other way here. Hands may be supported on a block, left hand may be supported on a block, or tent, or hand down. Take your right hand onto the right hip. Add the twist, inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, twisting over to the right side. Right hand, take it away from the hip. Looking straight ahead or Turn your gaze towards your right thumb. Right knee may be bent. Slowly coming out of the twist, releasing hand down towards the ground. 
And then windmill your left arm up, back up to standing up nice and tall, bending both knees, step left to meet the right. Come to the top of your mat. Okay, well done. I'll just come to this side of the mat. Place your hands onto your hips, bend the knees, step the right foot back into pyramid. So the step is not going to be as great this time. So step back into pyramid, our hips square to help keep the hips square. Place your hands onto your hips, all your toes facing forward. If you find that you would like a little bit more of an opening, you may rotate to 45 degree, 45 degree angle with the back foot toes. Okay. Draw the navel in, pyramid with our hands coming around our back. Hold onto your hands for the elbows or reverse prayer. Small back bend through the upper part of your back. Draw your heart up towards the sky, inhale. Exhale, fold forward, taking the left hip back, right hip forward as you come down. So we're not coming out of that square pose with our pelvis. Your gaze, your gestures at your toe, big toe. your back flat to help keep the back flat a little bit more you may bend the left knee too inhaling breath coming up small back bend exhale release into warrior three and then fly your eagle. So take the right foot off the ground and fly. Flex both feet. Feel your foundation. Keep holding. Keep holding, leg straight. And then slowly release. Take your toes down towards the ground and then step right to the left. Okay, all of that on the other side. Bend through the knees, then step the left foot back to pyramid, and the distance between your feet is not as great again. So just find where it's going to be able to work for you. Hips are square. The right hip drop back, left hip is forward. Hands come behind, hold on to the hands or the elbows for reverse prayer. Inhale, small back bend. Exhale, fold forward. Right hip back. Left hip forward, coming forward with a flat back. Bend the right knee enough to help keep the back flat. The leg is straight. Look at your big toe. Next inhale breath, make your way back up. Small back bend. Exhale, releasing, fly your eagle, warrior three. Both legs straight, flex that left foot, toes down towards the ground. Slowly release, take your toes back down to the ground and then fold. This little shift through our hips. And then arms coming down to the side. I'm going to come to the top of our mat. We have come to our final pose. Take your palms to face forward. Close your eyes. Take a moment for yourself here. Opening up your eyes. Place your hands to your heart center. Thank you everyone for joining me and sharing your practice with me. The light in me sees the light in you. Namaste.